All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my first ever King of Fighters video on my YouTube channel. For a lot of people who might not know, I've always been a huge fan of the King of Fighters franchise. It's just, I think when King of Fighters 14 came out, there was another realm game that was literally coming out at the same time or was very, very close to the release date. So obviously I had to focus on that. Never got a chance to play 14. And other than that, I haven't played a King of Fighters game since 98. And I don't mean like the actual, I'm, I'm talking about King of Fighters 98 because I think I played it in like 2000, somewhere on there. 2001 was probably the last time that I played it a good amount. But KOF 98 is the last King of Fighters game that I played. I've always liked some, you know, some of the characters, most specifically the ones from 98 in this game. So the team that I play, they're all in this game, which is Iori, Kyo, and Terry. All, my, my three dudes are in here. So I could definitely play the team that I normally play in King of Fighters 98. Um, but for the first video, I mean, I'm, I'm coming into this brand new. Uh, I did go into training mode, so I know how some of the specials work and you know some of the, the the moves and how you link stuff but i have no idea how to optimize any combos and i know that the basic tutorial is not really going to show me actually you know what i don't even think we should go like the basic basic tutorial um because it seems like what's emergency evasion i think that's the let's check this out I guess uh, if, if something is a little bit confusing for me, forward, forward, uh, backwards version, with emergency evasion, you can evade attacks while approaching or moving away from the opponent. Ready? All right, so it's just this, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, so the role is, so the role is invincible for projectiles and I guess maybe it's just invincible in general for a couple frames avoid some attacks or avoid a attack all right cool let's go to the tutorial menu see th this is what I want to learn these are the things that I have no idea about obviously crouching fucking dash jump all that shit I don't I don't need to learn that by the way leave a like on the video if you want me to upload more King of Fighters videos I for sure will be playing online at least one video online um, based on some of the clips that I've been seeing and just me going with the Orion training mode, it seems pretty smooth. It seems like, you know, something that I would really like, but there's going to be a learning curve for me because, like I said, I haven't played any modern King of Fighters games. All right. Uh, guard crush. There's actually a uh, guard meter. Okay. Oh, there's the guard meter. Guard, uh, guarding attacks reduces blue gauge. Top of the screen, an empty gauge causes guard crush, leaving the character temporarily open. Try inflicting a guard crush on your opponent. Ready? Okay. Go. Oh, there you go. Okay. How long are they vulnerable for your opponent's defense during the guard crush? Unable to move or guard. It's a perfect time to deal significant damage. All right. Well, I knew what guard crush was. It was just just wanted to see how long they were stunned for. It doesn't seem like it's too long. Stun, yeah, I know the regular fucking stun. Uh, what's recovery? I'm assuming back roll, forward roll, stuff like that. Just before you fall down from attacking an opponent, uh, down from taking an opponent's attack, press punch and kick to recover. Oh, okay, okay. So I assume you could, can you choose your direction or is it just backwards? I guess I'll have to find out later. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's turn the air on. Let's turn the air conditioning on here. GC emergency evasion. What's this? To perform a guard cancel forward emergency evasion while guarding against an opponent, opponent's attack, press punch and kick or forward plus punch and kick for a guard cancel emergency evasion while guarding against the opponent press back okay okay so you could do that oh gotcha okay 
So if you just want your opponent to get the fuck off you, you just do the guard cancel emergency evasion. Gotcha. Okay. See, this is what I this is what I need to know. This is what I need to learn to actually take someone's character online. Like I'm talking about one. I don't expect to win any games. All right, guard crush blowback. Uh, to perform a guard or a guard cancel blowback while guarding against an opponent, attack press back down up. Plus, Ready? fuck. Go. Okay, hold on. Whoops, I jumped by accident. Oh my god. I just did a regular guard cancel. Well, I have no clue. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, that's right. It's because I was confusing the... <laughs> See, this is why you play the tutorial mode. The emblem of the punches and kicks are different. The ones with the red around them are the heavies, and the normal ones are just the lights. So I kept on doing the fucking motion with the lights. That's why I wasn't getting my uh, my blowback. I was just evading. All right. All right, so that is the get off me tool. The other one is to escape. I assume, you know, if your opponent does a move that's you know, lasts a good amount of time and they keep you on block. You could use the evade to go to the other side and punish them compared to the other one. It's more of a get off me. Okay. Attack moves. Light attack. See, light attack and heavy attack. That's why I didn't get the... Uh, I wasn't really paying attention because I'm like, oh, shit, what? I'm doing it. And I'm like, oh, that's right. You have these other attacks, too. Uh, press. See the... Got the fucking shining thing around them. Perform a blowback. Blowback do a lot of damage, knocking back your opponent on hit. Oh, I didn't even know about that. See, I went in training mode, but I didn't know about that. Jumping blowback. Uh, landing a ground blowback is you perform a follow-up attack on your opponent as they fly through the air. All right, cool. Let's put ne next subject. Let's see if they teach me that. We have one more power gauge. Uh, perform a forward core circle move. Okay. Then press to perform a shattered strike. Wait, I want to see this blowback thing. No, that's a grab. I guess if you're like probably closer to the corner, right? Okay, there you go. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, that so that is that his special move? I I assume that's one of his special moves because maybe not. All right, let's go back. Maybe all the characters have that. I'm not sure. Shatter strike, command moves, throws. Counter throws. Let's see how you counter a throw. Okay, you just press the Ready? button. Go. Grab me. Damn. How long do you have to attack? Huh. Damn, you don't have... You, you have no time to tech. Like, you have to preemptively tech your opponent in order to tech their throw because you can't react to that shit. At least I can't. Max mode. What's this all about? When you have two or more power gauges, press these attacks to activate max mode. In max mode, a character's attack and guard crush strength increases. Alright, so that's max mode right there. Obviously, it says it. That's it. Why well, max mode? Uh, the mode's gauge slowly drains from 100% and ends when it reaches zero. Okay, cool. Max mode quickie. 
You know, we always love those quickies. Activating maximum pound landing, a regular attack or command move will activate maximum quick. This also works if the attacks are blocked. Maximum quick allows you to combo immediately into the next action without leaving an, an opening. But be warned when activating the quick version, attack on guard crush strength do not increase. Okay. So you go boom. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's quick mode, it drains faster? Activating quick version consumes the maximum gauge more than a regular one. Okay, however, you can cancel your previous attack into another one. Use it to keep attacking or string moves together more easily. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell the max mode thing was because I'm just using the default controller, so it's set to my R1. Rush 1. Approach your opponent and tap punch repeatedly to start a rush, which allows you to easily... Oh, so these are like the uh, auto combos. Ready? Right? Go! I was doing the Ori's auto combo just to see... Just to see some stuff. Alright, so let's see the other auto combo. Activate rush when... Uh, if you activate rush when you have one or more power gauge, your attack will vary based on the fourth button press. Ready? Go! So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, kick. Well, I did the same one, but... Okay, there you go, that's a different one. Oh, see, that's something that I didn't know. I was just assuming that it was punch, 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 and then punch, 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 medium punch. I didn't know that you had versions with the kicks as well. See, so, yeah, I... Learning some stuff. Yeah, punch, 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 punch is, uh, it goes into, like, your super ultimate move. But obviously, whenever you use auto combos in fighting games, they're gonna do less damage than the regular combos do. So, this damage right here is not gonna do as much as if I manually input. For Iorio, is a forward punch, regular punch, into, you know, whatever special move you do. A special move would trigger if the fourth input is kick. A super special move if it's boom. And a max special move if it's kick. Two power gauges required. When you use, activate the strongest of eight. Okay. Cool. Let's go back. Those damn auto combos. Special moves. I know about special moves. EX special moves. Super special moves. All right, let's check out super special moves. I get, I just assume the, these are the fucking supers, right? Super special moves, blah, 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 blah. Command and puts. For Yori, is different for his uh, super special moves. It's like quarter circle forward and then half circle back. Ready? Go! Cool. Alright, what else we got? Climax super special move. How much more do we have here? Alright, we'll, we'll just finish it off here with this. As far as uh, these basic tutorials. I want to do the little challenge thing for Iori. Climax super special moves are ultimate special moves. Activated with specific command inputs, they require and consume three blocks of your power gauge. Okay, yeah, that's what I was used to with war. <laughs> it didn't even connect. Uh, trigger during max mode by consuming your remaining max mode gauge and one power gauge. Useful to finish a combo or turn the tide of combat. Trigger during max mode by consuming your remaining max mode. Oh! So normally those are three bars, but if you have your max mode activated, then it just takes away the entirety of your max mode plus one bar of super meter. Okay. That's cool. Hold on, I want to see if the other ones... The other one said something too. Trigger, trigger it during max mode, and I think they do the same thing. These, the max, 
uh, super special moves. I think it's the same thing, right? Ready? All right, Go! let's do this again. And I, I, I assume it's the same shit. Trigger during max mode by consuming part of your max mode. Oh, consuming part of your max mode and one block of your power gauge. Grants you more attack power, invincibility frames, etc. That a super special move. Okay, okay. So that means you could do this like super move and then if you still have a tiny bit of max mode you could still use your like ultimate super move if you have another bar of meter to like combine them even though your max mode is like running out i assume that's what they mean there i don't know how much max mode it actually consumes but that sounds cool super cancel it's pretty much just canceling your super into another Ready? super Oh, I guess it's just canceling your... Hold on. Boom, and then boom. Okay. Oh, so it's just canceling your... Because you could cancel supers into supers. That's what I thought it was. It's just canceling your special move into your super. Uh, using max super special. Okay. Specific super special move will activate an advanced cancel. This lets you cancel out of your super special move into a max super special move. Ready? Okay, let's see how do, how does this work. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops, it's supposed to be both kicks. Oh, come on. Alright, there you go. Cool. I <laughs> heard the announcer. Uh, you can't advance cancel between the same move. You must use max super special move different from the initial one. All right, and I think that's it, right? Using climax super special move command inputs during set super special move. Th there's so much like <laughs> climax super special move, super special move, max super special move. <laughs> there's a bunch of fucking special move shit. Moves will activate a climax cancel, letting you cancel out of a super special move slash max super special move into a climax super special move. And blah, blah, blah. Ready? Go. All right. Uh, so. Oh, this is just. This is just like uh, going to into your super. I gotta learn to cancel. It's just going into your like ultimate super special move. Yeah, I knew about this already. Cool. Use a climax cancel to inflict lethal damage during your opponent. Perfect when you're on your last leg, so never give up. And I think that's it. All right, cool. So that's it for like the offense. All right, what did I learn? I forgot everything already. <laughs> Honestly, I forgot everything. All right, uh, let's go to the mission. Let's do my boy Yori. Damn, that white. Got that white. All right. Start from level one. Ready? Go. Got that white action. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to punch him first and then do this? Oh, it's... Oh, I didn't even know you could go from your heavy to your light. Oh, okay. Oops. I didn't even know you could go from your heavy into your forward light. Alright, so... You do this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh... Okay. I just gotta get used to the uh, fucking inputs and everything. Oops. I'm gonna stay on this side. So it's this one and. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Oh, yeah. 
Ooh. Give me that damage. Yeah, see, I didn't know, like, when I was training, I didn't know you could go from uh, the stand heavy to, what is it, uh, forward? Oops. I guess you just gotta be close, right? Alright, anyway. So, this is boom, boom. And then... This one. And then what is this? The command? Command? What the hell is this? Oh, okay, okay. I think I got it. I missed it. Missed it. Oh, I gotta be quick. Oops. I gotta cancel it faster? Hold on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oops. <laughs> Ah, oh, sick. Okay, I didn't see. I didn't know you could do that. I was like, what the hell is this move useful for? Like the uh, downwards dragon punch, like his lunge move? I was like, what the fuck is this useful for? Not like the half circle. I was, like this one, I was like... This move, I'm like, what the hell am I going to use this? I can cancel it into that. Sick, okay. I didn't know that. All right. Oh, there's the command grab. What the hell is that, like, input thing? Hold on. Uh, shit. Now I want to see icon list. Uh, use max mode quick. Okay. Let's use max mode quick. I was just, like, confused at that yellow icon right there. So... Not that. This is a command grab. And then what? Heavy punch? Oh! See, I didn't know you could do any of this. I didn't know you could link shit like that. Like after this, I didn't know you could link it into this. Or, you know, this right here. I didn't know you could do that. Well, it's not really link. I guess it's more like a... Com command combo. Uh, let's see. So, boom, boom, into this, and then into this right here, right? All right, cool, cool, cool. Let me see. Uh, that's definitely not a command grab. I fucking. And then, okay, is that? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Does this count? Okay. Let me see. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I don't even need to input. Okay, okay. Oh, why am I getting the dragon punch? Didn't cancel. It didn't work. Oh, wait, did it work? Oh, I didn't get my other cancel. What the hell, man? Give me my fucking. Oh, I was looking at the wrong way because I was on the other side. Oh, I canceled it too late. Oh, give me my freaking input. Is that one? Right. Okay, so it explodes 
a bunch of times, so I inputted my shit way before I could actually input it. Okay. At least the music is sick. Okay, before that. Boom, 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 boom. Guess I didn't have it. <laughs> For some reason, that side worked perfectly fine for me, but the other side didn't. Doing like quarter circle back from the right side to half circle to the left side, for some reason, I kept on failing it. Switch over to the other side, and it, it worked just fine. It's true what they say, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you're just better on one side than the other. Man. Next subject. So let's see what this is all about. Whoa. That looks insane. That looks pretty insane. Alright. Uh, what's that little icon again? Uh, use max mode, okay. So, max mode into this. Into what? This? All three Rekkas? Oh no, I guess that. Alright. And then, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oops. And then from that, you go into, into this. Then into this. Oh, hold on. Let's just do it like this. Gotta mash that one now. And then I don't know when to cancel it on that. All right, that's right. You need to. I need to practice the timing. I need to practice the timing on that cancel. Oops. Oh, okay, there you go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Oops, I forgot I gotta keep going with the records. <laughs> Showing that beautiful hair. Yes! Scream in his ear. Scream sweet, nothing's in his ear. Alright, trial menu. That was the first one, right? I think there's five in each. Oh wait, no, that was it. Oh, we completed Yori's trials, okay. I could have sworn there was gonna be more. I thought it was uh, like level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. I thought there was like five combos per level. I guess not, I guess that's it for Yori. All right, well, uh, my plan wasn't to do Yori's trials <laughs> as my first video, but I guess here we are, ladies and gentlemen. 
So the combos were easy to do, but what I struggled with was the timing between super cancels, especially in, which one was it, this one? Like the super cancel into the ultimate super cancel. I struggled with the timing, you know, when, when to do it. I kept doing it and doing it and doing it. I guess I wasn't doing it at the proper timing, so I kept not getting it. So that that was a difficult part. The actual like landing the combos weren't difficult, but the learning the timing of when to super cancel into ultra cancel, whatever. That is what was uh, difficult for me, but I think that's it. Um, I mean, I kind of want to do more trials for more characters, especially the you know my boys which is uh keo and and terry but doing the basic tutorial and iori's trials i think are good enough for now and then uh we'll see what other trials we could do before we hop online because you know i'm trying to learn some of these characters so thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching hope you enjoyed it learning how to play the game through iori's trials uh definitely learned a lot the question is, will I be able to translate it online? Probably not. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and search up. The trial modes are usually just for, you know, just to give you an idea of what the characters could do. But I'm sure there's people who have already optimized some really nice combos with Iori. So I'm definitely going to copy people's combos on YouTube and uh, see what we could do. But I'll be back. Maybe another video later today doing the uh, Keo and Terry trials. For you guys so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time what's going on it's super here and thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did and you aren't subscribed already make sure you guys do so and if you want to see some more there's videos popping up on the screen right now so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time